Hi Capricorn, welcome to Carol's Universe Tower Readings, Tower Readings from the Heart. This is your general reading for February 2016. Hope you're all having a good year so far. Um, just to let you know, if you'd like a private reading with me guys, the link is below. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to meditate on the cards now, okay? Universe Spirit, show me what's coming in for the zodiac sign of Capricorn. All sun, moon and rising signs. So those born under Capricorn, sun, moon and rising signs. For February 2016. Show me Capricorn, sun, moon and rising signs. February 2016. Universe, connect with us now, please. Universe, Lord, Spirit, Angels, connect with us. What is coming in for those born under the zodiac sign of Capricorn, sun, moon and rising signs. For February 2016. I need you to show me the general energies for the first two top cards. The below card, which is the advice stroke information, and the eight cards in the middle, which show events that are coming in for the zodiac sign of Capricorn. Show me. Okay, I've meditated on the cards, guys. I'm going to split them into three, collect them back up, and let's see what's coming in for you guys. Okay. And that's interesting. your general energy or the advice card is the hanged man so it's saying to you capricorn uh, this is a time of adjustment uh, the hanged man is often a card of sit and wait look observe it's the observer's card as well it's the card of endurance, okay? Um, the hanged man is often, I see, uh, the martyr. He kind of uh, is hanging upside down a tree uh, because of a cause. Sorry, that's the lipstick on my fingers. Um, yeah, he's hanging upside down on a tree because uh, it's almost like it's for a cause. He's being tested. And I feel that... Uh, in February, it's going to be just kind of like a test of your endurance for some reason or other. And sometimes, you know, Scorpios went through a bloody awful time in the last few years. I mean, really awful, where we were tested to the limit. I certainly was tested to the limit last year. I mean, really tested to the limit. I mean, so much so that my body became just a bag of bones. I didn't even recognise myself. I didn't recognise the way I looked. I didn't recognise anything about myself. That's how tested I was last year, terribly. Uh, I'm not saying you're going through major, major tests, all right? But what I am saying is, is that I feel that you're going to have to kind of, like, there's some endurance shit happening with some of you Capricorn, uh, or having to kind of look at something in a completely different way or look at it from a different perspective. The um, general energy is showing us the High Priest and the Ace of Pentacles. For some of you guys, this could be a new job, okay? Because the high priest can sometimes represent establishments like churches, education, uh, massive organisations like corporate environments. And the Ace of Pentacles is your money card, okay? So it's new money coming through. So uh, for some of you guys, it's going to be uh, a new venture potentially. Uh, some of you guys could be readjusting to something new that comes in. And it might be difficult because it might be something that forces you out of your comfort zone. This guy has been forced out of his comfort zone and he's having to kind of readapt. Okay. Um, we do have the Ten of Wands here, which does show some uh, responsibility. Some of you guys might have a lot of responsibilities going on uh, within. And sometimes, to be totally honest with you, these general energies... And the advice cards sometimes don't relate to a reading at all. They're just general energies that are going through. And the gen and the reading is something entirely different. That's what I found sometimes on these readings. Okay. But there is some uh, burden or there is some strain that some of you guys are feeling here. Uh, I feel that you want to achieve something here. I always see this card as, as being uh, uh, someone who either has the world on their shoulders or they're trying to achieve something but they're finding it difficult to achieve it they're finding it difficult to kind of get to uh the goal um there's real i don't feel there's real struggle for you here in this month i don't uh, but i do feel that there are 
certain responsibilities that you may have. One of the responsibilities you might have is to your children because we do have the Six of Cups. And that can be a card of kids. Okay. Uh, so I do feel that, yeah, there is some struggle around kids or there is a lot of responsibility that you have to your children. And uh, it could be literally that you're having to juggle your home life and work life because we do have the high priest and the eight of pentacles. And sometimes if that high priest represents like a corporate environment or a really um, high kind of organisation, you might have to invest a lot of time in that because we do have the ace of pentacles which can be a card of investing stuff as well having to offer your services and it is pentacles and you are capricorn so literally you're the one that would probably be having to offer something maybe okay because it's your card it's you so you're having to maybe invest time in this organization or in your work and there's a real struggle you've got so many responsibilities for some of you guys on your plate with that ten of wands with your kids and also because we see the two of pentacles here as well someone who's literally trying to juggle uh their responsibilities okay so it could be two jobs it could be home and work life they're trying to create an even balance but with the ten of wands it suggests that this might be a difficult thing to do at the moment and the hanged man as being your advice card is saying you need to look at things in a different way in order to, to come to a better solution OK, or you need to kind of just roll with the punches because this is what the hanged man does. OK, he doesn't lick his wounds. He doesn't feel sorry for himself. He kind of accepts the limitation of a situation and that's how he gets around it. So this is all about kind of managing your time better or managing it in a way that kind of uh, benefits you and your children or benefits you and the family. We also have the Queen of Cups here, um, which is an interesting card. Because the Queen of Cups is, uh, she could represent a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancerian individual in your life. Or she could literally um, represent uh, a creative energy that you have within yourself. Okay, so uh, it's the card of going inward, self-exploration, um, self that's the word that I'm looking for. Uh, it's to do, she's a very creative lady, so she'd deal with things like writing, she'd deal with things like poetry, she'd deal with things like music. She's usually a psychic or a healer or something like that. So it could literally be as well that some of you guys are trying to heal yourselves because there's a lot of burden here with the Ten of Wands and I'm seeing the Queen of Cups here as well. So some of you guys might literally be seeking advice or seeking, and also the High Priest is a card of advice. So it's seeking higher wisdom from someone who's better uh, equipped to help to give advice so for some of you guys you might literally be seeking healing as well through this queen of cups character because she is known as a healer for some of you guys you might be trying to juggle your creative endeavors along with a very kind of high-powered responsible job a job that has comes a lot along with a lot of responsibility because all i'm looking at is the queen of cups and those six of cups and it suggests to me something that might be you might be doing from home in terms of creativity something that you've probably been invested in for a long time from your childhood and maybe with this two of pentacles you're having to weigh up your options uh capricorn do i uh invest more time or do i stick with um you know, obviously we all have to work, so it could literally be a case of, you know, I have my own passions, I have my own needs, I enjoy doing what I do at home in terms of my creative pursuits, but then I've got this really responsible job with that Ten of Wands and I'm kind of trying to juggle the both of them and it's becoming increasingly more difficult, which is why we find the uh, probably the high-powered job or the responsibility of your job is with the Ten of Wands, but the love for what you do is with the Six of Cups and that Queen of Cups, but having to juggle both is quite tiring with the Two of Pentacles, trying to keep everything up in the air. We do see uh, some anxiety. Or, to be honest with you, the Nine of Swords, I do see it as an anxiety card, but I also see it as mental exhaustion. This person looks exhausted. She looks more exhausted than she does anxious, to be honest with you. So some of you guys might literally be feeling quite exhausted from juggling two jobs or two things. OK, uh, one of you guys, uh, some of you guys, sorry, might be doing stuff from home uh, in terms of creative endeavours. It might be that some of you guys might be working with children. You might be doing part time babysitting or part time child minding or that type of thing. OK, 
along with a day job, something like that. But it looks like some of you guys are juggling two things at once and you're feeling really exhausted by it. Okay. Um, what's interesting is we've got the hermit and he's shining a light towards this nine of swords. So some of you guys might be seeking some medical advice. Hermit isn't usually a medical man, but he could be a healer as well. Okay. Because he's the type of person that tries to shine a light on a situation. So he tries to find the hidden meanings with stuff by going inside, not just uh, in terms of going inside the body to look at uh, for any signs of illness, but it's more kind of going into the psyche. And he d he works alone as well. So literally some of you guys might be seeking some healing there from the hermit. OK, you might be seeking some advice or some help, potentially. Um, he, he looks the hermit looks like he's walking to this lady on the nine of swords. And he's come to uh, uh, find out what's wrong with her. He's come to kind of find out why she's feeling down or why she's feeling really exhausted. So some of you might be consulting kind of alternative therapies, maybe, or a doctor or something like that with that hermit card. We also have the high priestess here. And this is the card of going inward. It's the card of inner, um, it's card of intuition, relying on your intuition to do the right thing. And both cards, the Hermit and the High Priestess, are kind of the same in terms of their uh, end goal, which is to find the clarity in a situation. So I definitely feel that you're going to be finding clarity because we do have the High Priestess directly underneath this Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords shows a closed off mind, someone who's mentally quite troubled, somebody who's mentally exhausted. The High Priestess is someone who absorbs so much and tries to work from her through her feelings from the inside the hermit is someone who will try and shine a light on problems so perhaps through somebody trying to helping you in shining a light on or on a problem that you have here or showing you the way forward or giving you some assistance it could simply mean that it helps to clarify a lot of things for you the seven of wands here is your final card maybe this is you guys in far more of a resilient fighting mode you're ready you're ready to fight back after feeling so exhausted OK, maybe you're ready to kind of defend your territory again or you're ready to kind of just stand strong and be confident within yourself. OK. But I feel with the hanged man, this is a card that talks of readjustment. Having to readjust yourself in order to make yourself more comfortable, having to look at things in a different way, find different ways to kind of approach situations. And I feel that this would really sum up with the Nine of Swords and that Hermit and the High Priestess, especially. And I feel that those three cards relieve you because this is a really strong, defiant card that uh, comes up in a reading. Whenever it comes, it's usually about fighting off competition, that type of thing. But I feel in this reading, this is more kind of you guys who are ready for action again with that Seven of Wands after a time of feeling so burdened. And that's because you've received some help from the Hermit to help you see things in a different way, which is in relation to the High Priestess. She now is has some clarity on a situation. It's funny because the Nine of Swords shows exhaustion, but it's almost like the Seven of Wands is showing you at the peak of health again. And that's because you've readjusted your viewpoint. You've looked at how you can change things around and do things differently. So I do feel that uh, February will be a, a month of some hard work for you guys. Um, I feel that it might be slightly burdensome. I feel some of you guys are actually, sorry, something's in my hair. I feel that some, you're, you, some of you guys are actually tackling a lot. You've got a lot on your plate. You might have two jobs or you might have to dedicate a lot of your time to the home as well as work. And I feel that it's make, making you feel quite exhausted. I feel that some of you guys will be seeking help with that hermit card. He looks like a doctor who's walking towards this lady. If you look at these cards together, um, Capricorn, he looks like a doctor who's walking towards. Can you see that? He's walking towards this lady like he's coming to her sister. He's coming to help her. He's, ha he's going to help her to discover what's making her feel so poorly, so exhausted. Once you readjust the way that you do things, because you might be uh, in February just doing things the long way around when there's an easier way to do something to help 
kind of you to cope better with all of the responsibilities that you have in your life that's what the way that's what i'm seeing here for this reading here let's do an angel uh power card on this reading and just get uh, a little bit of information out of this one universe spirit for capricorn can you show me what advice angels do you have for capricorns please in the month of um february 2015 what is the advice that you have for the capricorns in the month of february 2015 show me the advice that you have for the capricorn people in the month of february 2015 show me the advice what advice do you have for capricorns in the month of february 2015 show me Show me the advice you have for Capricorns. Show me the advice that you have for the Capricorn people. Sun, moon and rising signs. Please, Angel, show me what advice you have for Capricorns in the month of February 2016. What advice you have for Capricorns, sun, moon and rising signs, February 2016. Show me. So the Eight of Raphael, uh, Eight of Cups, I believe that is. How interesting. There is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. How interesting. Let's have a look. Whoopsie daisy. What else this card says? Eight of Raphael is the Eight of Cups in the normal tarot. So the book says there is something better waiting for you. The ways in which you have evolved have you convinced that there must be more to life and there is. Uh, the inward search for answers is rewarded at this time. Here we go, the hermit, inward search for answers, trying to find answers to this anxiety, to this uh, depression, to this exhaustion that you need obvious release from. It's time to leave the past behind and embrace a brand new you. This choice is not forced upon you, but is of your making, which it very much is so. Your past experiences have been very important in helping you understand who you are. Be grateful for what you've learned and build upon it. A relocation or change in job or relationships is possible at this time. That's interesting. And the additional meanings of this card, a journey, a spiritual quest, doing what you know is right for you, a change of interest. And it is interesting because it does show here... Um, it's funny how the reading shows that there is a lot of burden or a lot of responsibility that you guys need release from. And that the hanged man is the card that shows a readjustment, okay? Handling something in a different way. Changes coming in, okay? Um, understanding the limitation of a situation and making a decision from there. So it's amazing how these angel cards can really back up and really kind of empower what's going on within the normal tarot here. But this card is the card of walking towards something better and leaving things behind, whether that's in terms of your, in a spiritual sense, in an emotional sense, or literally in a physical sense, that are no longer serving us. And I feel in February... Uh, Capricorn that for some of you guys there are situations that are just simply not serving you they're wearing you down they're making you feel quite tired maybe quite anxious maybe even depressed maybe even absolutely exhausted and you need release from that and I feel that once you find the answers through the hermit this could be somebody that as I've said that comes in to help because he looks like he's facing he's shining a light on this nine of swords okay so it looks like he's found the answer to the problem and this is where we find the hanged man the answer is right there in front of your face if you're willing to just accept the limitation of something accept something the way it is then you can actually shine a light on it and move forward brilliant brilliant reading for february capricorn i'd like to say thanks very much for joining me on this reading and i will be back with your love readings take care guys Bye bye